What's going on guys? Yankee Cowboy here. Thought I'd switch it up a little bit and do a little revolver video. On the bench behind me here, we got the North American Arms Black Widow. So stick around and we'll take a closer look. Alright guys, so on the bench, as always, I always like to show how something comes packaged. Um, <clears throat> it's just a plastic box, guys. There's really nothing to talk about here other than a cheap plastic box with some egg cushioning in it. So we'll get the revolver out of the way. You get a little North American Arms lock, which I, I couldn't imagine what the heck you'd possibly lock with that, but whatever. You get, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You get your North American Arms owner's manual. Which just actually has some pretty good information. It's not bad. Always read your own owner's manuals. You get a little accessory book. A bunch of different accessories you could buy for most North American arms. You know, grips, holsters, uh, what have you. Then you got a, a parts list. You got your warranty. Of course, you got your NRA, which is very important, guys. I know everybody may not agree with the NRA, but they're a big lobbyist for us. And here's my warranty card I have to finish filling out. But other than that, just your standard literature. So with that said, we'll get the box out of the way and we'll get into the revolver. Now it's sitting here in this driving holster. I ordered this off of eBay. This is a cool little holster. How this works is, is you'll open this up. You'll slide this up around your belt and, and latch it down. So you don't have to take your belt off to put it on. It's a cross draw setup. So like I said, for a backup piece, this is nice to have sitting on your waist. You have your, your gun on your right hip. And this is on your left front side, so you can cross draw. You don't have to worry about your seatbelt or anything. If somebody came up on you and tried to carjack you or something, yeah, it's a 22 mag, but you know what? It's better than nothing. It's got a little thumb brake here. Take it out. These grips are not stock, in case you might have noticed. These are uh, CV revisions. And that company since had a fire or something, and they lost all their diamond wood stock. I think they only come in black now, but they're a great little grip. You get a, you get a much better purchase on this little gun because they normally come with a small little grip. Actually, I have the stock grip for this one, which is even still a lot bigger than the standard one that you would get. This is a stock grip that came with it. It's got the little Black Widow logo on it, North American Arms on the other side. And, you know, even with this one on there, it, it was nice. You still got a good purchase, but... I think these look these CV revisions look really good on it. So this is the stock grip that you would get with it. And then normally, this is where it stops. So you get a whole nother finger's worth on it by, by adding this on here. All right, so first off, let's clear. You'll take it back to half cock. You pull this little lever down and give it a twist. It slides forward. Cylinder comes out to your right. Just drop it out. These are 22 mags in there. These are Hornaday Critical Defense. These are designed for these little these little uh, revolvers. Also, <clears throat> with this particular this particular one, it only came with one cylinder. It came in 22 Magnum. And if any of you guys know anything about North American Arms and this 22 Black Widow, the cylinders do not come fluted. So what I did was is I wanted to get a 22 long rifle cylinder as well. And you have to send the gun to them, the revolver to them, because they have to time the cylinder. So I made them flute the cylinder on the 22 long rifle that I was purchasing and also flute the spare cylinder, the 22 Magnum. Well, this is the 22 long rifle, this is the 22 Mag. But I had them flute both cylinders and then ship it back to me. So you get, you know, you got the best of both worlds here. You can shoot 22 long rifle or 22 Magnum. I tend to keep it in 22 Magnum because it's just a, it's just a better round and I usually carry this for a backup. So we're going to pop this back in now that, it's, that we know it's clear. You'll slide this little pin back in down the center, give it a twist, and it's back, it's back to normal. And then it's got a great action on it for being what it is, a little spur trigger. It's got a halfway decent sight picture on it. I, I just did some paint. See if I can get that to line up. It's kind of weird. I'm sitting off to the side. There you go. It's got uh, I just put some paint on it, but it's got a halfway decent sight picture. You got a vented rib up top. It's got some nice you know, scallop lines in the top. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty looking little revolver, and it's well made. These are these are anybody who knows anything about North American arms? They're pretty well made for a little tiny revolver. And this one here, I don't have the exact specs, but I'm guessing it's about a two and a half inch barrel, and uh, it shoots pretty accurate for for what it is. I mean, I've hit plates at probably ten yards with this. You know, not every time, but it can be done. There's some guys that can shoot these things pretty accurately. But again, I just use this to have fun plinking, use it as a backup. 
it's it's a great little piece you know you, you can't go wrong with the north american arms you could typically find these anywhere new from like 320 you can find them used for 250 i mean it's just not a bad little gun to have i mean if you gotta leave the house with, with rather than going out with nothing i'd rather have this you know in the driving holster strapped to me than nothing else you know this is something they could throw in your shorts i mean whatever this is very very small and compact i mean I'm not a big guy, but I mean, look at this thing. Just swallow it up right in your hand. And this is actually a longer version. I also have a, a pug, which I'll do a video on that, which is even shorter. That one's like right to here. And that's a great little gun as well. But single action, you know, spur trigger. And the other nice thing is you can carry this safely. In between the cylinders, let me show you on the other cylinder I have here. There is these notches in between the cylinders. See those notches? Now what happens is, is I'll load this back up with these 22 Magnums and I'll take this back to half cock, give it a turn, and then you'll let the hammer down on that notch. So now my hammer is resting on that notch. So essentially what you have, here's the business end, sorry to muzzle sweep you guys, but what you have is, is your hammer is resting in between the cylinder. So in other words, your hammer is resting here in between the two cylinders. So it's not on a live round. So if you were to drop this or slam this hammer, you're not gonna, it's not gonna go off. So it's perfectly safe to carry. And you know, if you took it out, you gotta cock the hammer anyway. So once you cock it, you'd be ready to roll again. Like I said, guys, it's just a great little gun. It's a fun little gun. I think it's a good gun to teach, you know, a youngster how to shoot or, you know, just something to go to the range and plank and have fun with because 22 is pretty cheap. That's why I got the uh, long rifle uh, cylinder. So, you know, I could just go out there with a box and, and have fun with it. You know, I take your time. Yeah, you do have to take this, you know, down every time to reload it, but it's not that bad. It's not it's not as bad as you would think. They do sell a couple different variations. Uh, the, the best one that's going to load the faster is the Sidewinder. The cylinder actually slides out like a normal revolver. Again, this one, like I said, you have to pull it down and slide it out, but not that big of a deal. And these, these Hornadays, you know, I, I've tried a bunch of 22 mags. These Hornaday Critical Defense, these things are pretty nasty and pretty accurate. So this is what I carry because, like I said, I carry this for a backup, you know, just something to have just in case I can't get to my sidearm if you were carjacked or what have you. I mean, a lot of times I'll just carry this as a backup because your quickest reload, guys, is a spare gun. All right, anyways, that's pretty much it. I just want to do a quick video on this. I haven't seen a lot of videos on the Black Widow, so I figured I'd do a video on it, show you guys something a little different, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go back out for some final thoughts on the Black Widow. All right, guys, so final thoughts on the 22 Long Rifle North American Arms Black Widow. I think it's a great little gun. I think it's uh, budget-friendly as far as shooting and having fun. Maybe teach a youngster how to shoot. It's a great little gun. I mean, 22 Long Rifle is pretty cheap to shoot. I think the uh, ammo scare is over. 22 Magnum's a nice little round. It's a pretty accurate gun for its size. Again, I wouldn't take it to competition, but for a little backup piece or something just to go plank with, I think it's a great little gun. So any questions or comments, leave them below or hit me on the Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.